One in 68 children have an autism spectrum disorder here in the U.S., but there's no drug yet to treat the core symptoms. Kenneth Craig has more on a first-of-its-kind study. 15-year-old Marshall Scarpula is one of three children in his family with autism. His mother noticed some of the signs when he was three years old. His speech was delayed, and then the school brought it to my attention, too. Now, researchers at Montefiore Medical Center are studying whether a first-of-its-kind drug could make a difference for kids like Marshall. There aren't any approved treatments for what we think of as the core symptoms of autism. So all of the social difficulties and the repetitive behaviors and the ability to function in everyday life. I'm like forgetting something, I would write myself a note. Marshall is part of a nationwide clinical trial which includes 300 children and teens with high functioning autism. Stop. Researchers are testing whether the drug, balovoptin, can help autism symptoms by preventing a molecule thought to influence social behavior from binding to brain receptors. Previous research on adults showed symptoms improved. Dr. Eric Hollander says this drug could be one piece of the puzzle. There would still be a need for things like speech therapy or occupational therapy, educational interventions, behavioral interventions. Marshall's family doesn't know yet whether he received a placebo or the actual drug. I have this thing that helps me keep on task. But his mother says she's seen a change in his behavior. It must be promising for you. Yes. Hopefully it gets approved and everything goes through and we'll have a medicine for him. Uh -huh. A possible breakthrough for autism and a chance for a fuller life. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. Now, researchers are enrolling high-functioning high children and teenagers at this time because they can better communicate about their symptoms.